Yo, what up guys? You know, it's been a minute. You boys just been working, working, working. Working for himself. I practically live in this stall here on base. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just been doing job after job after job. Today I got two sets of springs and a brake job. So we're about to knock out springs and a brake job, front brakes on an RS38V that is stage one tuned through DS1 on E85. I'm hoping tonight we can go out and get some fun runs after this because my trunk is full of tools. I really don't want to run after uh, doing all this work. But recently I've been uh, stacking up on my Milwaukee tools. I just got another impact and uh, I got the high torque finally. Got rid of my huge, bulky, ugly looking cobalt one. And I got rid of my cobalt light. I got rid of actually all my cobalt stuff. I no longer have any cobalt power tools. I went purely to Milwaukee, slowly, you know, building up my arsenal. I don't have everything that I want yet, but uh, I can only get so much for my cobalt stuff, as you guys can only imagine. So, anyway, this is my my daily looking. So I'm going to break stuff. You got my nice Matco. I love this tool. This is one of my favorite tools to use. Don't get to use it as often as I like. You got our springs or our compressors this is just like my spare wrench set and i love this milwaukee pack out i got most of my um like smaller sockets and bits and drivers and my little inverter there to charge things and uh of course my sockets i want to get a milwaukee pack out for sockets um i don't think i'm going to be able to sell these honestly just keep them as spares but i do want to get like the big pack out like the double wide one to have all my sockets and everything and just in one thing would be great but let's pull this out show you guys some things i finally i haven't used my high torque yet so i get to use it on his wheels and his axle bolts today i'm super stoked a little look at my everyday stuff all my torques my nice adjustable this thing has come in handy so much I'm using that to pry the rotor off today i'm sure Spark plug stuff, little knife, you know, some crimps and cutters, marker, Allen keys, stuff to fix a flat. Can't go anywhere without these bad boys. Never know when you might need those. What else is in this baby? Oh, and I just got my Milwaukee light. I've been drooling over this ever since I, I first got to see it. This thing is so sick, and the magnet is like. It's got magnets on the side and it's got a hook. This thing is sick. And you have all these different modes. You turn it on, you got high and low. And then you have dual, so you got both going. And then you have like your inspection type light. So this thing's super nice. And it charges via C. Boom. It's a really nice unit. Really, really like it. Shockproof, waterproof. It's nice. And I got my little inverter here in case I need to charge things. Hooks right onto one of my batteries. And this has USB-C, USB-A. It's nice with it. And I got my charging cable in here along with uh, these gloves that my parents got me that have lights on each finger, like on each knuckle. Can be convenient. I got, you know, O2 sensor. Kind of specialty little section here. And then most of my extensions and step up downs and then I keep these bad boys in there but anyway so this is my my number one my un numero uno this took over my drill because it has a drill function and this is what I use the most I just pop my different attachment on even with using the uh you know the half inch on this this the full torque on this I snapped a couple of these already but this thing this little guy has so much torque like the only thing I don't use it for is wheels and like I probably could even use it on subframe bolts. I don't use it on wheels. I don't use it on the axle hardware. That's for the big gun, but I haven't gotten to use yet. This baby's brand new, brand spanking new. Just got this. Super excited to use it. Got my first 5.0 battery on it. It's a 2767-20. So excited to use this thing today. I thought I was going to be able to use it Friday. I got it on Thursday, but... And this is like, it's lighter, shorter, not as fat, and way more powerful than my Milwaukee unit. So really, really, really excited. And it, and it fits in here real nice. Let me this bad boy for today. Anyway, I got all types of stuff in here. P 
picks and this and that. Got my, my numero 18. It broke. The, the thing inside of this broke. I'm really upset. Gear wrench. My favorite set of wrenches the old lady got me for Christmas a couple years ago. And this is the only one that broke. The one I use the most. Naturally. And of course you've got the Milwaukee uh, display. I use this thing a lot too. It's one of my, this is probably my favorite tool to use. Honestly, I love these, these ratchets, but I use this the most. Um, I'm probably most excited to use this. And then the old lady, I asked her to borrow this probably two years ago. And uh, well, I've had it ever since. <laughs> Some random stuff. I like using this. this is my, my adjustable that doubles as a hammer. And I got this at Lowe's. It's a nice unit. This bad boy. Shout out to Jesse. Jesse gave me this. Clean off hubs and such. It's nice. Anyway, that's most of my anything cool. I do like this set. I think the old lady got me this as well for some of the tighter T30s and stuff. I'm missing one. That's not cool. Either way. Those. I got to use it on the other side already, but uh, the axle bolt here, my cold bolt would struggle with it. And this thing right here, it's like it's a like an axle nut or like a, a wheel nut. Like that's nothing. You're good. Check that bad boy out. Hell yeah, brother! You see our three, four rotors. Done a couple sets of these now in the last couple weeks. I wouldn't have sent it over. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, yeah. cool. Damn, she looks good. You can tell the, the rear is high because of the e brakes up. So. Pull this baby out. It's going to look different. It's going to look real good out there in the sun. Perfect. I really want those rotors. She gets them. Good. Once they're out, I probably will. Similar but different. Fair enough. Love the plate, bro. We're gonna go out and run. If I didn't have all these tools in the back, I'd give them a run right now, but we're gonna go out this weekend, as long as the weather's good, have some fun runs. Really cool guy, really nice car. Well, boys, here we are the next day. I'm doing an IS20 swap on this all track, and uh, it's the first 1.8T turbo swap I've done, I think, actually, but got the Milwaukee back here. Usually I sit here with a, you know, like a regular Allen key and unscrew this and it takes a while, but I decided to try and stuff this back there. My Cobalt never would have been able to do this because it was so huge and bulky and I'm loving this light, man. This light is so awesome. And I just realized that I pulled out my good pick set, which I don't often. Usually I use, well, they're not even out here. I have like shitty picks I use most of the time, but I didn't realize the magnet in that kit has an LED on it. So that was actually... A really cool surprise i've had this thing for like two years and never never used that magnet before so anyway although this is pretty neat a little nice life hack save me some time I just wanted to end this video where we started looking at some beautiful milwaukee tools this one right here what is it 295320 god i cannot cannot tell how much i love this thing even as a drill it's super nice and it's just everything clicks in and out and you don't even have to hold it to put it back in like they just pop in you don't have to hit the quick release this light i've recharged it i think twice now it, it holds like i think five hours on a single charge and you can get like different batteries for it i didn't get that there's like a pack where it'll charge it and then you get a spare battery but where is it? And this thing lasts it's nice I am really, really big on the Milwaukee train now. I really did like my uh, Cobalt stuff, but like, this is so much better. The form factor, the battery life, the quality, uh, just the power in general. It's crazy different. I don't regret getting the Cobalt stuff because it was really affordable at the time. This stuff's like, it's pretty.
pretty expensive until you compare it to like a uh, snap on or something there is better options for different things but i really like i just think milwaukee stuff so cool like I remember when I worked at the dealership, I, my uh, Cobalt couldn't get a wheel lug off. So I went and talked to my homie and he handed me this freaking thing. This is the first time I ever got to use one. And I thought it was going to snap my wrist. This thing, like, ever since then, I'm like, wow, like, that is legit. And this 5 battery's pretty nice with it. Like, I wish I could use it more for its price, but it's going to last me for forever. And then this, this I use the most, like I said. It, it's awesome for everything and of course you got the you know i used i use that quite a bit too and then i have like the inflator we got a six and a half inch i think quit it boys uh cutting wheel and we got something else too oh the little uh oh yeah there's a cutting wheel a little saw boy this thing was nice we're making a garden out front but anyway i'm a Milwaukee boy now and I can't wait to fanboy some more. I'll show you guys some more tool stuff in the future, maybe. So I have a whole lot of cobalt stuff that I, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I want these pack outs that have the stuff in them already. And I can slip them right into my drawers, you know. I have so much cobalt stuff. We have, like, a Lowe's card and everything. So we've been going there for a long time. So I don't see myself buying anything, like, socket related until, like, this stuff breaks, but I don't think it ever, ever will, and I have, like, backups to backups, the only real benefit is to, like, you know, when I'm doing this whole mobile mechanic type thing, and then, whoo, almost dropped it, and you got stuff like this, and they all connect together with this interlock system, and they have a bag, and a backpack, and a rolling cart, and a, and a, a stereo that hooks to it, and a cooler, and they just have so many cool things anyway i'm gonna quit ranting i'm sure most of you guys already know about milwaukee tools but uh i'm happy to finally have some and it makes me it makes working on things just that much more fun when you got like cool new tools to use it, it gives you that extra i don't know but it's cool <laughs> one last thing before we get off here um tomorrow the intercooler shows up so uh I'll be looking out for that unboxing video next weekend it's not going to go in the car for a while because i'm going to school for a little bit I'm, I'm leaving for like the whole month of june i need to get it coated i need to order these plasma man clamps but at least it'll be here and we can drool over it together super excited anyway thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the flip-flop